It's Warcraft Day. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is going to be a 2 versus 2 a replay request by none other than Jockey. So, we got Jockey spawning over here at the bottom left. Uh, map is known as Furbog Mountain. It is a map within the map pool, but a bit unpopular. You wouldn't really see this map a lot. And we're gonna switch to Blizzard. Because of Reforged! Jockey will be allying up with his friend known as Eogiri Tree. He's spawning as the purple undead on the right side of the map. And we already got a. Yeah, Jockey. You're really terrible at scouting. Steve the Peon. Steve the Peon is going to plant a burrow towards the outer end of the base. Not sure why do you want to put it down there though. The spawns on this map were bad. Uh, so you're trying to tell me that the spawns attacked you? I'm not really sure uh, what you did to aggro them. But I can see that Jockey hasn't put down a barracks yet. So he'll be facing up against double human as mentioned in the replay file uh, thing there. One of the human will be known as Matt Kaula and the other human will be known as Lord Kaito. So it's going to be double human. Both of them of course colored with... Uh, we're gonna call this light pink. Let's just call this gray. It's, it's light pink actually. I, I'm not colorblind. I can't make that out. One's going with the Archmage, the other one is still building his stuff. I guess this guy actually went in for a power build. Like, no, like, uh, no, like, Expos should be between allies. Uh, yeah, Expos is technically between the allies. This one is... This one is actually a bit exposed. Like, if you, you Expo and your enemy Expo, you're gonna have a big Expo war. I'm gonna put off the Fog of War here. But yeah, if you actually enemy expo that if you expo over here yeah that's actually gonna end up into a really disastrous expansion war Parsia is going to be the hero selection for Jaki and Eogre Tree going in with Crypt Lord his signature Crypt Lord I must say I believe I've cast about three games of Jaki and him and all three times Bree has went in for the Crypt Lord Lord Kaito will be going in for the Paladin and no I think I was incorrect on the part where I said this guy went in for power build I'm it may be it maybe not because I wasn't there to check that up. Uh, big mistake there. I'm, I'm a good streamer, <laughs> as I mentioned yesterday, Jockey. So, Lord Kido went in for the Pali build, Pali rifle build, and usually in that your hero and your basic uh, units are delayed a bit. So you got the P peasant stuck over there. That is sad. Yeah, yeah I've I've learned this tick trick very recently. If you actually manually uh, put the peons or peasants on separate trees uh, it'll have a uh, less chance of them getting stuck there and what, what do we have here jockey's pulling in those um the creep camp i'm not really sure if this is the most wisest decision to do now you have a problem jockey if you take out any of the creeps using the burrow you're not going to gain experience from that you need to be a bit careful with that because that does count as a building kill as a tower kill and uh, this is, by the way, an orange camp. It's really not ideal for creeping this early. I don't think you have enough firepower to do this. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing something like what um, um, Matt Cola is doing and uh, getting his Archmate to level 2. While you're still staggering over here with uh, zero kills. Yeah, you have literally zero kills. You already had to buy some items. A modified orc starter pack if I may and tree has uh, started some creeping of his own as well tree on the other hand has a lot of fiends on his side a lot of beef a lot of beetles so he's gonna be able to expand over here no problem at all so this is also a signature maneuver there by tree I've seen Tree is the guy that expands super early and usually that is kind of the thing with Crypt Lord, but you can modify that. Yeah, of course, in 2v2 you have much more different opportunities and uh, different ways of going about with it. It's going to be a level 2.5 Crypt Lord. It just needs one more small camp to get it to level 3. And Jockey, you are still experimenting over here. Well, uh, you managed to kill the big guy and to your uh, reward, uh, the fruits have bore. And 
what you have received over here is a book of dead but you have not proclaimed it yet you must procure you must procure the book of dead otherwise it's just going to be a waste tier 2 50% uh, done here tier 2 um, about 70% this guy isn't going for tier 2 anytime soon. It's going to be the Rifleman build, so Rifleman will be the priority there. And there we go. Fiend's gonna get jacked! This does not look good! The Fiends are a bit exposed there. Fiends, uh, Crypt Lord is getting another kill, and whoa! We act and Cole actually backing out. Crypt Lord needs to not overextend. He just needs a bit more experience. He killing one of these Ice Trolls will also give him the enough amount of experience that he needs, but he will go in for the big kill while his enemy, uh just uh, runs away doesn't really engage him while he actually had a really good opportunity to do so I have hellstone and big mana potion pretty good items expansion is up and coming and did you pre procure that yet I believe you procured that and yeah you did it's gonna be book of the dead uh, there's really a lot of things that jockey and tree can do right now both of them are going in for expansion so you have an opportunity over here uh, level 3 Crypt Lord, uh, level 2 Beetles, of course, Mass Fiends, uh, Rod of Necromancy, perhaps uh, Jockey, you should also get a Rod of Necromancy, and then push in with the Book of Dead. In my opinion, if you push in right now inside one of the human bases, which by the way, both of the human bases are very open, there's really uh, no way that uh, it's anything's gonna stop you, you're gonna get congested there, you can easily just march in there and once you march in you're gonna be able to uh, kill all the peasants there once you have one base down then you can actually spell the GG for the enemy player and whoa this time around free actually uh, getting his ziggurats cancelled jockey's gonna have to TP in big impale there across the riflemen there uh, Cripplot taking a lot of damage jockey in book of the dead will be used for defense right now and they definitely need it actually looking at the number of units on the human side human trying to focus on jockey's Farseer, Farseer does not have any escape routes, need to escape from the units there! Does not manage to escape. Crypt Lord is weak, I think Crypt Lord is going to get murdered as well, Crypt Lord. They can actually still attack the Crypt Lord if they want to, but they're not going to do that, it appears. Way too many units in the front line, a lot of skeleton warriors and stuff. There's a lot of riflemen too, they already got attack upgrades. Got a uh, situation right here that I think the rifleman could have still uh, managed to stick in there. Uh, Pally still has enough mana for two more, two more um, holy lights. Uh, by the way, you can even use the holy light on the crypt lord. That's it's really possible as well. Pennyfish, hey, and there's no arcade tower in human base. Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest point which I was pointing out there. Uh, you guys need to do a bit of scouting there. Good scouting, not like just send in Peon Steve into creeps and let him die. You need to do some good scouting, Jockey. And once you know that your opponent is exposed, go in there, abuse that fact. Go in there and, like, Book of the Dead is, like, one of the top tier items, top tier drops that you can get. If you got something like that, if you got two of them, even if you got one of them, just go in with that. Finish your opponent. End the game right there. Don't bully poor Steve. I'm not bullying poor Steve, I'm bullying you. You're the guy controlling poor Steve and commanding him to just run into creeps and die and stuff. He died to creeps the last game. So, going to Mountain King, second hero for... I keep forgetting his name, gonna have to go back to check Matt Kaula. And his ally, Lord Kaito, gonna go get the Mountain King as well? That's a bit concerning for the team of Jockey and Tree. So... Yeah, that's a bit concerning for the team of Jockey and Tree. Now, this is a bit uh, ironic right now that Jockey and Tree are facing up against two human players and none of them have expanded while Jockey and Tree being non-human players have expanded. <laughs> a really bit of an ironic thing there. Uh, what is this? Uh, well, uh, your face, of course, your face jokes. The ones that can never get old. Level 2 on that Mountain King Belt of Giant. Pretty good item for the Mountain King. Gives you extra damage, regen, HP. Pretty good item for the Mountain King. All little guy, beefy guy, ain't going to die anytime soon. And their opponent 
a lot kaito is being really really passive right now you like lurk around the map you need to keep creeping you need to keep harassing and yeah i would say the same about um three over here three is just kind of sticking to his uh expansion not really putting down any ziggurats and stuff i want to have a look at his oh my goodness you're not what are you doing man you got like 2k gold what are you gonna do with 2k gold just I would uh, first want to say that maybe you could uh, contribute to your ally, but Jockey's already got like 1k. He already have an expansion. There's really no reason for him to be needing that gold. But you gotta spend, spend, and spend. When you get the expansion, you need to spend. If you don't spend your ex have your whole motive of having it, having that expansion is baseless. There, ha put down double crypt. Put down three crypts if you have to. Well, you technically have double crypts there. Um, you need to have more production buildings. You need to find a way. Uh, I've learned one thing that Tree likes to go for uh, tier 3 frost worms, and there's nothing wrong in that. You can go for that, and you should definitely go for that. They're pretty good. And uh, what you need to learn right now, uh, I would say, is that Tree needs to like try to get to tier 3 as soon as possible. Like, find a way to push into tier 3 as soon as possible. Even if it uh, requires you to sell off your TP early on, uh, get the expansion, sell the TP, you're gonna end up saving some resources. Put down the Necropolis, don't waste any resources on any of the Ziggurats that you initially place, because the, the wood that's uh, gonna be used for the Ziggurat can be used elsewhere. Necropolis requires 400 gold and no wood, so that's one thing that you can do, and that's one thing that's gonna be very useful for you. As a player so get to tier 3 as soon as possible put down the sacrificial pit put down the bone yards and start pumping Please them worms you got the worms there's nothing that can stop yeah okay gotta get some deeping done on his side and uh, yeah he should have been doing this long time ago in my opinion jockey is kind of sticking to win riders I'm not agreed with this decision Considering the fact that they know that the opponents are going in with riflemen, frostworms can at least put up a fight against uh, anti-air uh, ground units, anti-air tier one ground units. Frostworms, they're pretty beefy. They can put up a fight. They can be healed with the death coil of the death knight, and there's a lot of ways about it. But wind riders, they're gonna be torn apart if the, the riflemen just need two wallies to strike them down. And we may have uh, a fight going on right now. The sentry ward did detect that. Oh, Lord Keto knows. Incoming. Lord Keto knows that there is a Windrider party incoming at the back line. Gonna go in. Need to go in real soon. He's taking his sweet time though. Jockey's also taking some time. Jockey's in. Gonna fire some volleys. And try and take out the gold line. Disrupt the economy. Exactly what he should be doing. And whoa, what's he doing? He's not going in. And Lord Kito, wow, really Kito, or Kaito, Lord Kaito is going in for the town bell. The town bell that's really not going to benefit anybody. Uh, not going to benefit him, that is. So, last one's gonna fly over here to that fountain. So yeah, you just learn something new there. You can actually heal your uh, frost worm. Uh, you can actually heal your wind riders on a map like this. Just have them attack and then uh, whenever they're weak just send them to the fountain. Uh, human players are not expanding at all. T one of them is tier 3. Getting some knights. Uh, okay, both of them are tier technically tier 3. And they're going in for a mixed army. Riflemen, priests, knights. These are getting some adapt trading. Probably gonna have master trading as well. Uh, pretty passive game so far. Pretty passive. Also, Jockey, you want to have speed scroll with the Wind Riders. They're really good. The speed scroll, you can easily uh, manage to do your hit and run attempts. Like, whenever you get near to the human base, use that speed scroll, have them speed scroll to an area that you want to, uh, them to attack through, and the speed scroll does uh, stay in there for a moderate duration. Impale does not really get a lot of them, but he got the intended target, and the intended target was a mounted king. Now Jockey's gonna be a bit careful. 
positioning is going to be everything. Have the undead units tank a lot of damage there in the front and attack from the back line using the wind riders. Lot of spells, lot of spells going across. Need to be a bit careful. Uh, first wind rider gets taken down. Uh, Rifleman is being taken out left, right, and center. A second mountain king may fall real soon. Crypt Lord, though. Crypt Lord is gonna die! Goes down. Archmage goes down, but does have uh, an ank, so he's gonna come back. Here comes Jockey's Torrent Chieftain. Big Storm going across. This time the forest here is being targeted. Floppy Micro on both teams, I would say. Frostworms gets annihilated. What? Second one will catch the Archmage and kill it for the second time. Rocky and Tree managed to kill a good number of units, but there still are a lot of units left. And these Ziggurats are not transformed into Spirit Towers yet. Torn Chieftain gets murdered there. And that's a level 6 Paladin. Whoa! There's a lot of experience gained there. Lost from attacking the Paladin directly, but it's not going to work out well. Necropolis can't even shoot back. It's not a Hall of Dead. Uh, yeah, by the way, Tree, that, that's also another idea you can adopt. You can try to upgrade your Necropolis into all of Dead. The expansion one, of course. I have to invest into that a bit, but... Melee units attacking the Acolytes, while the ranged ones, along with the Pali, go after the Necropolis. They're gonna take out the Necropolis, and the reason why they're doing that is once the Necropolis is down, uh, nobody from Team Purple will be able to TP to that location. And they're gonna enjoy free reign for until they take that down. And the expansion, for time being at least, is definitely going to go down. A lot of towers at Matt Cola's base. Too many on Lord Kaito. Need inner fire though on the side of Matt Cola. They can get inner fire, nothing like it. A boost strength of the army. Lot. Aerial units incoming, incoming. Are they gonna be able to fight with the with the riflemen, the anti-air? It appears they are. Riflemen fighting back though. Maybe, maybe I should take out one of the wind rider there. Yes, they did. Aerial units going no collision there. I must say. Or Chieftain making its way back to the fight. Triplot is already back to the fight. And the human team getting back to their bases. The golds, uh, gold mines are nearing depletion. This one has a bit left. And that's mainly because uh, the gold mining was disrupted uh, more than once. Third attack upgrade on the Wind Riders. Gonna be a lot of damage. And now Jockey going in for the Witch Doctors. Now I'm not really sure if going for Witch Doctors is the best idea. Um, uh, you know, with Wind Riders. I think going with Bloodless is just going to be a better idea. These things have a really good DPS. They have really good damage. Bloodless them. And you can also try and spirit link them. I just get like one, uh, one or two of those spirit walkers, and just put down the spirit link across all of the aerial you. It's gonna benefit you a lot. Bloodlust and spirit link gonna be pretty good. Got healing ward, of course. Nothing like the heal there, but that's pretty much all the benefit that you're gonna be having with. The witch doctor and uh, if you really want that benefit you can go and clear off the fountain nearby you and get that benefit right there of course you don't have the benefit of the healing ward being uh, the fountain being mobile and you can have it anywhere you like uh, healing ward is basically a mobile fountain well call it mobile fountain a uh, pocket fountain that you can place anywhere you like I'm fountain positioning on these towers are bad by the way need Place them like somewhere here where Great Hall can hang some damage while the opponent attacks. Because this positioning, of course, uh, allow your opponent to kill off the towers really easily.
Big passive moment. The human team are barely crossing low upkeep while Doki and Ree are already at high upkeep. There's really no way for the human team to actually win. There's way too much firepower, way too many frost rooms and wind riders. Oh hey, you were typing, wow. I'm gonna read what you said after the game. Yeah, I like TP's in pretty late. Very late. And the clap versus Stomp. Or rather War Stomp. Earthquake! And are we gonna have Logo Swarm as well? No, we're not. And that is that. That was an okay game. Because I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I have enjoyed what you have seen. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more quads and follow me on my Twitch channel to catch these games live. As mentioned earlier, anybody and everybody is encouraged to send me replays for the replay request series. And that's going to be all for this particular cast. Know more about how you can send me your replay. Join my Discord server, link to that will be on the Twitch channel and the description on my YouTube. That's going to be all for this video. Bye for now.